So today I'm going to talk about a DGPS by JRC, a DGPS navigator, model JLR7700 MK2. It's a 12 channel parallel for simultaneous reception of 12 satellites. The DGPS navigator composed of a DGPS receiver and an LCD display unit ensures very accurate position fixing. Corrections to satellite derived positions. Ship inspections conducted by various organizations, wetting inspectors by port state controls occasionally identify ways in which passage planning on board can be improved. For example, an issue highlighted by recent inspections is that not all navigating officers are aware that a significant corrections may need to be applied to the GPS, the global positioning system, before it can be plotted on charts which are not referenced to the World Geodetic System 1984 datum, which is known as the WGS84. So now I'm going to describe you how to change the chart datum on the JRC JLR 7700 MK22. Right? So you can see the mode function here. You need to press the mode function. Once you press the mode function, you need to select the plot. You can see the plot. These see these sections. Buttons are indicating and the arrow block. You need to press the plot. Then you need to press the aux. You see the aux written here. Aux. And then you need to press the arrow key up. And then the press the side arrow key. And then press 10. And then press enter. So you can see I've come to a screen where it says Geodectic System WGS84. Here you can see, now you can choose based on what is mentioned on your BA chart which datum to be selected. Let's say you have to change this to some other datum. So now you can decide based on what is mentioned on your chart by selecting from this menu by the arrow up key. So you select the WGS72 or if it's a Japanese chart a NAT 27 USA chart, NAT 27 Canada, Europe 50, Austra 66, OSGB 36, NAT 83, 11. So based on what is mentioned on your chart, you need to have the similar WGS datum selected for your area. So once you select, you press enter and you're out of the screen, you go to the mode and you go to the display. So you are presently monitoring the WGS datum 84. Any geographical position on a navigational chart. So at the moment I'm showing you a chart for Cable Bank to Ras Rakan. So it's chart number 2523. So here you can see it is written WGS 84. So any geographical position on the navigational chart expressed in latitude and longitude is referenced to a geodectic datum. A geodetic datum is reference system for specifying positions on the Earth's surface. However, as there are several locally developed geodetic datums around the world, a specific point on the Earth can have substantially different latitude and longitude coordinates, depending on the datum to which particular chart is referenced. As such, two charts of the same area which are referenced to different datums may show different latitude and longitude coordinates with same real world feature such as shoal or a lighthouse. The GPS receiver should normally be set to display positions reference to WGS84 and this setting should be checked on the individual GPS receivers. However, mariners must be aware that on many charts still in use, a correction has to be applied to a satellite derived position reference to WGS84 before the position is plotted on the chart. Navigating officer should always check the charts for information about the corrections that need to be applied to the satellite derived positions when preparing a passage plan and alert the navigators to an existing corrections which are required before the positions are plotted on the individual chart. So here you can see WG is 84. It's an international chart number 7250 and a BA chart number 2523. So the datum here is WG is 84. We have two DGPS navigators on board, a DGPS Navigator 1 and DGPS Navigator 2. 
and we also have posted the changing che datum procedures by laminating it and posting it so that it's easy for any duty officer to change the datum and also a procedures to mark man overboard positions on DGPS based on easy A recent in which a ship grounded as a result of total reliance on the GPS coupled with the failure to recognize the significant corrections which had to be applied to GPS positions before they were plotted on the chart. During a coastal passage, a container ship ran aground after navigating officer commenced a significant alteration of course about half a mile before he reached the intended alter course position. Here you can see the detailed information of the chart and caution message on the EGDIS. When the symbol is integrated, the following information about the chart is displayed. You see the caution area, CT NARE and the information positions in this region lie within plus or minus 1710 meters of WGS84 datum. There's a clear information regarding the chart accuracy. Here you can see the notes on the safe use of charts are displayed as follows. You can see the .txt files mentioning about S57 datasets on unspecified datum. It says positions obtained from global navigational satellite systems such as GPS are normally referred to WGS84 datum. The difference between the satellite derived positions and positions on the cell cannot be accurately determined. The estimated value of the difference for this region of the chart is shown in the inform attribute. Mariners are warned that these differences may be significant to navigation and are therefore advised to confirm GPS positions shown in the chart display using alternative navigational techniques, particularly when closing the shore or navigating in the vicinity of dangers. About the note 2 dot text owing to the age and quality of the source information some of the chart detail may not be positioned accurately particular caution is advised when navigating in the vicinity of dangers even when using an electronic positioning system such as GPS a course of human errors have caused this incident of grounding the caution area message repeatedly displayed on the ECDIS monitor subsequently on all navigational watches but was ignored by all of them. So was overlooked by the whole bridge team. Investigations suggested that the officer was using no means other than GPS to navigate and even though the ship was on a regular schedule was wholly unaware that a significant correction had to be applied before GPS position could be plotted onto many of the charts used in the service. A more detailed passage plan would have alerted the inexperienced officer to the danger and required him to cross-check his position by more than one method. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and do not forget to subscribe.